Right now on the East Coast, the search is on for suspects in a deadly assault on a cab driver. It comes as we learn new information about another assault involving a criminal who is now back on the streets. Dre Clark is live in New York with the latest. Dre. Adrian, good morning. This is the type of story that frustrates police officers and so many other people who say it feels like the bad guys are winning. A guy is caught on video carrying out a very brutal attack and he's charged with attempted murder. But by the time he gets to court, the charges have been reduced and he's allowed to go free while the victim continues to recover in the hospital from an injury that nearly took his life. A warning this morning. The video you're about to see is disturbing and very violent, so we're only going to show it once. The video shows a slow premeditated attack. Watch as this 55-year-old man throws a devastating punch, hitting the victim from behind, dropping him into the pavement. The random attack happening last Friday outside a New York City restaurant. The victim needed emergency surgery to stop bleeding on his brain. He's now in a medically induced coma. The suspect, a registered sex offender, already on parole after a conviction for sexually assaulting a 17-year-old 1994 was arrested and charged with attempted murder, but the charges were later reduced to assault and harassment, misdemeanors with no bill required. He's back out on the street. A look at NYPD crime stats show misdemeanor assaults are up by 23% compared to the same time period a year ago. Felony assaults are up 19%. Every crime category in the city is up except shootings and murders. It was my children's hero. Another crime captured on video, the deadly beating of a New York City taxi cab driver. Gutin Gima was killed after chasing passengers who jumped out of his taxi without pain. Video shows the group attacking Gima until he falls and hits his head on the ground. Three people have been arrested so far, one of them just 15 years old. Gima was a husband and father of four young children. His widow devastated. I am happy that these guys have been identified. Now, the other two suspects that police are looking for connected to the beating death of this taxi driver are believed to be teenage girls. Those that have been arrested have been charged with gang assault and manslaughter. Adrian. All right, Dre, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.